Our family values are under attack. As a husband and father, family is very important to me. I can get the word by listening to the Stone Builders Hour on my favorite podcast, iHeartRadio. You can check them out on other podcasts like Spotify and SoundCloud. As a man of faith, the word is very important to me. And I can get the truth from Pastor Gary and Elder J.C. Montgomery. Check them out on the Stone Builders Hour. Greetings and welcome to the Stone Builders Hour with Pastor Gary Montgomery and my lovely wife, Elder J.C. We are founders of Living Stones International and host. <laughs> your host of the Stone Builders Hour. That was in one breath. Right? Yes, I, I heard that. Welcome, podcasts and radio family. Greetings and shout out to our international family, our U.S. family, and especially those from Orlando, Florida, Tallahassee, Florida, and you know that's the state capital of Florida, Waynesville, Georgia, Durant, Oklahoma, and they say it here, Durant, Philadelphia, PA, Wichita, Kansas, and Detroit, Michigan. If we missed any family, give us feedback so we may send you a shout out. We bring you great tidings from the Lord and his holy word, the Bible. Praise God. And we want to thank Wave 94. Yes for all that they do to support the program as it's starting to take hold in the radio universe. Praise all right. God. You know, last week, last week, uh, Elder JC and I, we talked about the book of boundaries that were authored by Dr. Henry Cloud and John Towson. And we've been blessed to share this book with many uh, male and female inmates in the state the federal and the local county jails, along with many parents and its importance. And I tell you, this is important because just yesterday, yes, just yesterday in Orlando, Florida at Disney World, two families were knocking it out fighting over someone uh, what beat somebody else in line or right. something. They well, thought they fought it. They, they thought they were getting in line before them. Now there was no boundaries set. We should have touched for just a week. Yeah, that was that was in need of some boundaries. You know, that's in Psalms one forty seven fourteen. He maketh peace in thy borders and filleth thee with the finest of wheat. So you out of control, you get no wheat. That was ridiculous. Yeah, I mean you. Just the cost to go into Disney World. Yes. The cost to, to, to eat, the cost. And plus, I'm not sure here in Oklahoma, we have like 104, 105 degree yes. weather. I can imagine what it is in Orlando, even though they don't have any humidity like we have up here. But no, we don't have humidity here, but down there. But the fact that you have families fighting within the park and you need security and you have other people and you got your children looking and other folks walking by. And it's like total, total lack of of boundaries yeah chaos it's called and let me tell you boundaries are your values so they have nucking values huh? yeah nucking it out must values. Have been from chicago yeah. huh? or philadelphia mm. or dc or how about tallahassee right they all be fighting so boundaries are your values expectations principles or limits that you establish to keep yourself feeling safe and i should say keep yourself and family feeling safe physically emotionally and mentally because just imagine those children they're seeing all of that what that goes into their little minds and and replays and replays and replays because mom and dad does it so i guess i'm okay to do it too and then you get kicked out the park and now you can't enjoy the rest of the rides Mm. oh that's sad setting healthy boundaries is permitting yourself to be you it communicates what you stand for, what you're willing to do, and what you will never do. They didn't have any boundaries. Yes, there apparently on not. Afternoon. Building boundaries goes against our human desire to be loved and accepted, so we ignore building them. But you know, it's just the same 
case, as I explained to the women who were in the county jail, boundaries are good because within those boundaries, you can be successful. You can flourish. You can be fruitful. It's when you go out of those boundaries that you end up in the county jail because you don't communicate properly. There's some central ingredients that you should be doing for your own health relationships and safety even for the benefit of your own family boy i tell you so <laughs> i just watched the video of uh of the fight i can't it is, it's heartbreaking to see these are black folks i'm just gonna call them out uh boy they didn't have no self-control because they felt someone was cutting in line like i said he just uh, had some tempers mm. uh flying there but, you know, God knows no color when it comes to this. So, you know, let's talk about boundaries. Let's go a little bit more details on No, I'm going to take back that back. What? We're going to roll that back. <laughs> because we as black people have a short fuse. Don't you remember from the beginning of Moses, Noah, people have been out of control. I don't understand why we haven't learned our lesson yet. That's why we're in the place we're at. Read Deuteronomy 28. Yes. There's first the blessings, but if you are not obeying, then there are the curses, and we're still under that curse because we have no boundaries. (laughs) Oh, God. This is not a funny matter, but you know what? Nothing can bother me because I am a man of God, and I love him so much that y'all can do nothing about it. And I am thankful and grateful to be in my right mind. Mm. I'm praying for my new body, which is, and I want my new body on earth. I'm not waiting for heaven. Praise God. So you want to talk about the the purpose of boundaries then. I was. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Because there's a physical boundary. So you want to talk about oh, that. Oh, Lord. This is, so, this is something else. You know what? I needed that laugh. Let me go. Good. I got time to give me a cup of coffee. Nope. Uh, we are on the radio, aren't <laughs> yes, we? Yes, we okay, are. Praise God. Have, I can give you my water if you want to add. <laughs> you know, so, but, you know, let's talk about boundaries. What about the purpose? You know, in the physical world... Boundaries are easy to observe, touch, and feel. For example, like your bedroom has a door. Your backyard has a fence. Your city has city limits and so on and so on and so on. So physical boundaries have different shapes and looks, but they all communicate the same message. This is my property. This is my rules and how I expect you to behave if you cross my property lines. <laughs> Disney need to get some property lines. Yeah. So, you know, once people cross your property line, it becomes your responsibility for what happens on your property. It's just like our farm. You know, we have a farm. Our farm is fenced in is to keep yes, the animals is. in and keep animals, animals out, out. Yes. especially as two-legged ones you know we want to be able to protect our crops and also protect the contents of what we're growing and, and and so we have to set up boundaries time limits and so on who comes who goes we have that responsibility because we're paying for it in relationships These lines are not physical, and so they're not visible. As a result, you must exert a lot more effort defining your boundaries and protecting them. What is a rule of thumb when it comes to your boundaries? How about this? Keep bad things out and let good things in. Real simple. Easy. It's too easy. Boundaries enable you to draw a line between yourself and other people. They differentiate differentiate between ownership and responsibilities and again boundaries are good because it gives you the opportunity to prosper and to be successful whether it's in relationships your property your family especially Uh, that's one of the things that we talk about in our ministry is that is kind of our motto We are building healthy relationships among family members and boundaries are an integral part of that. In his best-selling book, Boundaries, Dr. Henry Cloud explains that boundaries show you where you end, someone else begins. 
Setting boundaries is healthy and a sign of responsibility. And there are three kinds. Physical boundaries, mental boundaries, and emotional boundaries. And it's obvious the Disney folks didn't have any emotion. They had emotions, but there were no, no boundaries. boundaries. <laughs> Especially with the children. Yeah, there. being present. You're right. And then you have other families walking by trying to have a good time, and you just taking up so much area of Yeah, space. they just went out of their physical boundaries, oh, which is God. number one. Physical boundaries primarily refer to rules that define personal personal space and the physical body such as hugs touch handshake handshake etc because you know sometimes i know i i feel a little bit comfortable if i don't know someone and they get too close to me yeah. because you're invading my personal space and i will tell people that you're in my space you need to move it's also with that physical boundaries you know you have some people who are huggers yes and some people don't want to be hugged That's sometimes true. you have to really look at the situation before you go in and just give everybody a hug i know you jc you always uh, I do tell that I'm you a, let them know a friend listen I'm i am a, I'm a hugger. hugger that's right and uh and then it's up to that person to receive or say stop but i've never seen anyone reject that no hug. normally they don't unless they really have some issues but we're not getting into that but the first one being physical boundaries the second one being mental boundaries and those are intangible harder to define because you know sometimes people just don't want to you rub people the wrong way or your personalities clash you know that can happen as well Um, there are thoughts values opinions and knowledge that impact our mental boundaries and Mm. you know i came from a, a family that didn't hug so I had to get adjusted to your family that huggers and kissers. I, I just wasn't used to that. That's like, ew, wipe that off my face kind of thing. But over time, they won me over. And the third uh, boundary is um, emotional boundaries because they are intangible and can be felt. They can be feelings and emotions. And a lot of times we don't realize that our emotions really play very heavily Mm. on whether we will let people in or keep them at a distance. That's one thing. Uh, One of the things I know we're going to be talking about later is just the whole responsibility of how you are impacted or you impact others in terms of what boundaries can do for you. Pastor, anything then? Well, you know, for relationships, to be successful because uh, when we're talking about the physical, mental and emotional boundaries and we'll uh, and we talk about um, uh, in 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 regards to relationships, uh, it's very important. I tell you what, well, well, we, yeah, I was going to say we need to pick that up maybe the next section. All right. Let's take a little strip break. As a creative businesswoman, I grew up in the church. As I have gone through many challenges, God was the most important thing to me. Pastor Gary and Elder JC's ministry has been a blessing to me. You can receive a blessing too by listening to them on the Stone Builders Hour. I listen on Wave 94.1 FM every Thursday at 5 p.m. You can also get the good news on iHeartRadio, Spotify, and SoundCloud, or your favorite podcast. Check him out. Let us not forget all God's benefits as stated in Psalm 103, verse 2. As believers, we must know God has our best interest at heart. He wants us and others to join him in the kingdom as his son Yeshua sacrificed himself for us. Be a part of this magnificent story and become a partner with Pastor Gary and Elder J.C. Montgomery, co-host of the Stone Builders Hour. As the laborers, they are spreading his good news. Contact them at WeLivingStones.org or call 580-634-5896. Once again, that website is WeLivingStones.org. And that phone number is 580-634-5896. Welcome back 
Welcome back to the Stone Builders Hour with your host, Pastor uh, Gary Montgomery, my lovely wife, Elder JC. We're in the house today. Yes, and, we are. And we're talking about boundaries. Mm-hmm. So boundaries Need are so some. important. Yes, we do. And I want to thank Cheryl Bolt uh, for um, her uh, support uh, that she's given because uh, what she just said You know, this is what we're trying to accomplish because it's clear that we people need assistance from above. It's not going to happen from looking at each other. We need divine intervention from above. And you can help support this radio program by becoming a Stone Builder sponsor. Yes. And you can do that by going to our website at www.we livingstones.org and you can visit our webpage and and see not only are we doing uh, the stone builders hour but we have um uh, parenting programs and also yeah i'll find out we don't have anything about the farm posted just yet but that's coming soon and very soon but just help support um the kingdom work that we're doing because we can't do this without you. And also if you have any questions or comments that you may want us to address, um, you can go on that same website, we and you can communicate with us and just send us what your concerns or questions or, or is there something in uh, scriptures that you might want a little bit more delineation? We're here for you. And I was just going to mention that we can also uh, provide those parenting classes uh, within church settings, uh, within small group settings. I know Pastor was talking about doing actual Bible study right here. And I think maybe it's time we pull out that camera and dust it off and start doing some Bible studies to give you the tools you need because we are about building healthy relationships among family members. Praise God. And after Disney World, uh, family need members about. need all the help they can yes, get. Yes, we oh. do. <laughs> oh, that's not funny. But you know what? It's sad. Yes, it Truly is. Truly sad. You know, I just love the Lord and can do it, and no one can do anything about it. You know, what is that James Bond said? Be shaken and not stirred. Yes. I could be shaken, but I'm not stirred. Praise God. You know, so to get back on track about boundaries, JC just talked about the physical, the mental, and emotional. And to have a successful relationship, uh, especially a male-female relationship, both parties have to be happy. You know, so it's your responsibility. I'm talking to you men to make yourself happy first before attempting to make your partner happy. If they're trying to make somebody else happy and you're you're miserable, you're, you're, yes, <clears throat> you're in a deep hole and you're trying to help somebody else, or or you're in a deep hole and you're trying to talk to some lady over there that already got it going on, and you don't because you're unequally yoked. Well, but not only that, when you talk about uh, being happy, that applies to the women as well. A man is not going to step into your life in a relationship and all the bells and whistles go off and all of a sudden you're happy. It doesn't work like that. You have to be happy in your own mindset. You have to have your own boundaries. You have to have your own physical, emotional boundaries set because otherwise you're going to be miserable too if you get into a relationship that's not well defined. Yeah. Yeah, that's why it's so important to have it going on so you can be a blessing to others because boundaries can help you accomplish any task. If you are strong on your own and then you're able to add a partner or a helpmate that's just as strong, golly, the world, there's unlimited capabilities. Yes, it is. God will bless you out your socks because that's what he's seeking He's seeking to bless your relationship because boundaries, they define your responsibilities and your emotional needs. And people like to be in a relationship. They want to feel safe. 
Yes. People, you want to feel loved and valued. That's why I understand these abuse and how men can really speak down to their wives and, and their loved ones. So setting boundaries, it goes against human desires and needs because... We worry that boundaries can create confrontation and friction. But that's what life is all about. Sharpen two edged swords. You know, in order to get something that's a blade that's sharp, you know, you have to sharpen it in order to, and that's friction. Right. I was just going to say, and you have to rub it against a surface that's going to cause it to lose some of its properties. Because it's rough and you want it smooth so it can cut well. Yes, indeed. You know, and that's why uh, in Psalms uh, 147, 14, he maketh peace in thy border. He maketh peace in thy boundaries and fill thee with the finest of the wheat. Oh, God, that's 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 an awesome blessing to have. And, And it's better to dwell in the wilderness than with a contentious and angry well, it says a woman, but that could be man. That too. could be anybody. That anybody. Yes. Oh God, that was Proverbs twenty one nineteen. And then I had mentioned previously Psalms one forty seven fourteen. He maketh peace in thy borders and filleth thee with the finest of the wheat. So if you're not at peace, you're not getting any groceries, mm. any commodities. You're not making any money. But you know when you think about boundaries, I, I was thinking about the word help meet because in the Bible it says that uh, God made Adam a help meet and basically a mate or companion. But when people think of that, they always think, Oh, the woman's just a slave or she's just going to do this. And my thing is the idea of the help meet is to really expand a man's capabilities. Now he's got double Mm. He's got double mind, double capabilities, double ideas. That's what we're there for. We're to supplement what he already has in place. But one thing about thinking about boundaries, sometimes we lose touch with ourselves. Yeah. And sometimes we need that, what people are calling now me time, because you got to protect your time. Yeah. Your modern life demands. I mean, and that happened this morning. I've been taking out, trying to train our pup up where to go to get a bathroom, walking around, trying to get some of that kind of exercise so he can be rumbunctions outside. And when he comes in, he's chilled. But it was nice this morning. Pastor said he would take the dog. And I didn't know that just extra 30, 45 minutes was just refreshing because I didn't, because we're up early anyway, to be able to just have that time to read over through my Bible. We were going to do our, you know, we were doing the show and some other things to be able to just contemplate about intentional things. What is it that I need to do? How do I understand my feelings? Examine my own behavior. And it just allows you to reduce your stress level, recharge your brain, improve your decision making. Uh, and improve your relationship and set healthier boundaries. The others, uh, one other for me time for boundaries, the other is communication, which is so key because it's apparent at Disney they didn't have great <laughs> communication. Or I'm sorry, excuse me. Yes, I'm not budding, but I was with my family. I had to go get my phone. But sometimes, you know, we set the charge and once it's lit, it just blows up. We don't see anything else. But you should be open with your partner. You should tell them about your friend, your jobs, your skills, your boundaries. And we've done a lot of coaching. And I'm just at mm-hmm. uh, at a questionable time when people actually say they know, they don't communicate. Well, how do you get your point across? How how are you able to say what you, because they're afraid to or they're intimidated? They don't want to say what's really on their mind because they, they think it might jolt you know, the partner's uh, attitude about them or towards them. But, you know, that's all part of it. Being able to tell people what's on your mind. You don't have to worry about Pastor and I. We're going to tell you one way or the other. You're going to know. Uh, You're going to yeah. hear it from the horse's mouth. I can't 
can't keep track of my lies, so it's just best I just be truthful. As All much right. As I can. Oh God. And then the third, which is probably the newest thing, is this digital boundary because I know Pastor likes to watch those court shows and the people come in and what do they first thing they do? The woman says, "Well, I went through his phone and I was looking up <laughs> pictures and numbers and all that." And you know that's the new thing now. Your yeah. part should your partner have access to your phone? What about your emails? Your social media? Uh, do you discuss with your loved one the different apps or your calendar and all of that? And Pastor, if I, I guess we've been, it's going to be 50 years come next month, and the social media or digital media boundaries have just morphed because we've always been open about just everything, our our calendars, where we're going, what. Yeah. And to be honestly truthful, our phone, I've never even thought about looking at your phone. Who cares? <laughs> I can't even keep up with my own phone. Half the time I'm leaving it somewhere because he's always said, well, did you answer your phone? No, I left it in the car or I left it in my room. So those are things that you need to discuss. And we have a few more, too, that we need to look at. I'm not sure we're going to make no, they get through all that these digital passive. boundaries is, uh, you know, that is something new that, yes. that, uh, is, that digital, we, we didn't have that issue. No, we, we didn't. Were coming up. We just had to keep a nickel or a dime in our pocket to go use a pay phone and to be able to have this instrument. That's a computer. That's a phone. That's, uh, everything, a camera all in one. Boy, it's getting a lot of folks in trouble because they don't know how to set up the right kind of boundaries. I was going to say that that's one of the things that um, that people are getting in trouble is the cameras. I'm perplexed. Yeah, in our day, you had the Polaroids. You did have camera cameras that you could take pictures. But I'm just amazed that with the digital time period we live in that people are sending pictures of themselves <laughs> and then wondering why it's ending up all over the world don't you know that you're in the internet yeah. world wide web once that stuff gets out there's no taking it back so you please be careful you can't get that job that right you, because now employers are going through your digital media yes uh, big time and, and it may or may cost you a job and plus that's no self-respect to send nudity pictures of yourself uh, through the internet like who are you trying to impress uh, well apparently somebody but you know when you do that the only person you should be thinking about impressing is God. And that stuff needs to be hidden uh, the, amongst yourselves, not out for the whole world to see. Well, we have a lot more to go through with boundaries, but since we're winding down on yep. time, maybe it's best to just go ahead and close a prayer out, especially for those floor, <laughs> help those people at Disney world and those children. Yes. Uh, uh, oh, Jehovah, please give me my wife, our friends and our family strength. Yes. When we are weak, yes. Love when we feel forsaken, and courage when we feel afraid, wisdom when we feel foolish, and comfort us when we feel alone, hope when we feel rejected, and peace, peace, Lord God, when we are in turmoil. Mm. Father, we need you right now. Yes, Lord. For this world is in turmoil, but we know through your son, Yeshua, if we follow him, we shall have peace and more abundantly life hallelujah what a alrighty you, sir. we'll tune in next week we're out same time same place 